right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the best thing. Obviously, dessert is always the best thing in my opinion. So I actually found these at my local Hagen's, which is a grocery store that we have here local in Washington. You guys know you saw these last week in my grocery haul from Costco, and it was the salted caramel. So this is the peanut butter cup ones, and I'm super excited about this. So there's only four bars in here, but again, I am so excited to try these. And then at Safeway, I found these ice creams. They're called Enlightened. It was at this moment that he knew. He f up. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so mad. So I just got this ice cream and I turned it around to look at the stats and I realized that this was not the ice cream that I wanted to get. It's the right brand, but it's the wrong kind. I guess they have like a keto version. So I'm pretty upset about this because I got three flavors and I was really excited. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll try and insert what I was wanting to get and then I'm going to take these back tomorrow or this weekend or something and dang, get the right kind. But nonetheless, at least I got my keto bars, so I'm straight for the next day or two until I get something else. Um, but then over here I just got some more sunflower seeds. I love snacking on these. These are great. Um, I like the original flavor. My husband likes the original flavor and then I also like the ranch flavor too but this was at Walmart and it was like three dollars so for this huge bag. I also picked up this little container of lightly salted almonds. This is the blue diamond and I love this. I got this at Walmart again and then I picked these up this week. Um, this is the original Max uh, pork cracklins. It's chicharrones. Uh, last week I got uh, the Mission brand, so I'm excited to try these ones. They do look a little different, like maybe they're a little bit crunchier, so I'm excited to try those. And then um, this sugar-free jelly is for my daughter uh, because we we try to give her the least amount of sugar as possible. Um, but I guess it could be, I don't know if it could be keto or not. Five grams of carbs for one tablespoon, I wouldn't do it, so but that's just in there. I picked up the sour cream. This is my favorite way to get sour cream in this little pouch. It's like mess free. It doesn't go bad. Ugh, it's awesome. And then Walmart also had these little Slim Jim uh, mild sticks. There's 26 of them in here, which is really good. Um, good stats on them, of course, per usual, like only one gram of carbs per, oh, the serving size is four sticks. That's awesome. So we'll, let's see here. There's seven grams of carbs if you did four sticks, but there's only one gram of carbs if you did one. So I'd probably do like one or two, you know, depending, but that's like really good for when we're on the go. Um, and then I got some bananas for my kids. I got this celery, it was two for $3. So I'm planning on doing like celery and peanut butter, celery and cream cheese with everything but the bagel seasoning. You guys will see that stuff in my recipes, um, in my What I Eat Wednesday video. So make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those. And then I picked up two bell peppers because I'm on a stuffed pepper kick right now. And also red bell peppers are really good for snacking. They're nice and sweet and I just really enjoy those. I saw a couple people drinking these so I was really excited to try them. They're the AHA Sparkling Water. There is obviously nothing in here because it's just sparkling water. Um, and I got two flavors. I got the citrus green tea and then I also got the lime watermelon. So I'm really excited to try this because sometimes I'll get um, sparkling water and it'll just taste like, I don't know, this is like weird. It's It tastes like, it doesn't ever taste like the flavor. So I hope that this is more promising but I'll definitely let you guys know. One of my subscribers actually recommended that I pick this up. This is the Chosen Foods Keto Mayo and she said that she mixes it with like different sauces to get different um, like tastes and things like that. So I'm really excited. Lots of good fat in here. 11 grams of fat. There's zero carbs, zero sugar, zero protein. So I honestly think this would be such a good dipping sauce you guys. So I'm super excited to have that and try it. And then I picked up this Tillamook Sharp Cheddar Sausages. This is the farm style thick cut. I love snacking on cheese. And then these little guacamole cups, usually I get them at Costco because you get a lot more, but um, yeah, I didn't get them last week when we went to Costco, so I just got this little four snack pack here. My son really loves to eat these like on his toast in the morning, so we kind of share, because I usually only do like half a cup at a time. They give you like a really nice serving size. It's two ounces of guacamole in here, and the only thing that's in here is Haas avocado, tomatillo, onion, salt, garlic, jalapeno pepper, and cilantro, so like it's a really nice flavorful blend. Um, and then of course I picked up a few of these Too Good Yogurts. These are my absolute favorite. 
Um, I got the peach flavor, the strawberry, and the mixed berry. You do have to pay attention to uh, the actual label because I think some of them are different. Like when I get the vanilla, like there's less carbs and sugar, carbs honestly. Um, and each flavor is a little different, uh, but I really love these and I'm having a thing right now with fruit So and sweet things So I'm hoping that this kind of helps me because yesterday I honestly kicked myself like all, almost all the way out I had trace amounts of ketones in my urine when I tested because I ate so much of these So I like to pick these up at Safeway when they have them just because my kids really like snacking on them And I'm a huge watermelon fan. I also like pineapple, but I know that it's a lot of sugar, so I have to be really careful about these, but I do have kids, so I like to pick up a lot of fruit options, like the mandarin oranges and things like that. And this is just good for our little family. Like, I don't have to get the huge watermelon or like the whole pineapple and chop it up. I just like having these in our fridge. Uh, these though, this was really nice. I got two pounds of blueberries for like $2.99, super good deal. I love having these in our freezer, so that's what I'm gonna do with those. And then I just got an onion. And then I did pick up this turkey and bacon cob salad. Normally I don't buy these little pre-packaged salads, but I don't feel like making lunch tomorrow at work. And tomorrow is Friday. Um, I don't know when you guys are actually gonna be seeing this, but for me, uh, tomorrow's Friday, so I figured that I could get this little salad for myself um, for lunch, so I don't have to worry about packing myself a lunch tonight. And it's just got iceberg and romaine lettuce, uh, smoked turkey breast, hard boiled egg, bacon, and chunky blue cheese dressing. And let's see. So three net carbs, two grams of sugar, seven grams of fat, and 110 calories in here. So not bad, and it just seemed like a really quick fix. If you're somebody who's super busy and doesn't have time to prep salads, this would be great for you. So yeah, so that's everything that I pretty much got this week in my haul. I'm really bummed out about this ice cream, um, but I'm gonna get the right kind, and I'll probably try and like insert a clip or something. Or Okay, so the husband was a real trooper and went out and picked this up from a grocery store that's only a couple minutes from our house. And it's the Rebel Creamery brand and this is keto friendly. It's six net carbs per this entire pint, you guys. I'm so excited. This is the cookie dough flavor and the triple chocolate. Um, they do have a website and you can order from them, but seriously, like to get it shipped to you is like $15.99, but check out their website and see which store um, they're selling these at closest to you. There's only two stores on this entire island that sell them and one of them is a 7-Eleven. So I'm super excited to have gotten my hands on this. And yeah, definitely, um, come back for a what I eat Wednesday video and I'll definitely be trying these but I might honestly just stick my stick a spoon in one right now because I want to try it so bad make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss any uh, videos for me I do what I eat Wednesday video and I'm going to start incorporating these keto grocery hauls like this is super small because I did get excuse me I did get a lot of stuff last week so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next one bye